Hello, we are FTN and our goal is the democratization of education. The main priority of people in developing countries is to solve basic food, clothing, and shelter needs. Subsequently, education became a benefit that only the rich could have, resulting in educational inequality. Fortunately, as smartphones became widely available, there was an increase in SNS users. Our mentor, Dr. Lee, informed us that there is a greater supply of smartphones than computers. This led to the idea of a fun, accessible, two-sided educational mobile app instead of a slower, updating one-sided service. Our technology is based on SNS. Users will be able to receive and provide education by applying social aspects such as groups, followers, and comments to our app. Classrooms, study groups, and private lessons are in virtual space are made easy. Kid Kid School is an existing service that provides educational resources. The success in Tanzania shows that these people have a desire to learn. However, existing educational app services were limited mainly to children and updated slowly as thoroughly centralized content was distributed. A two-sided platform in Tanzania where locals participate in providing and receiving content and education is in need, and FTN will promote participation in the education of local people. There are three questions to consider when creating sustainable development. One, is this technology based on universality? Two, will all users who use this solution feel the service is fair? Three, Will this technology quickly and directly improve the quality of life of users? We've concluded that a reward system is most effective in making the FTN platform system sustainable. How can we apply the solution rewards to the FTN platform fairly and directly? Our answer is copyright, where creators will have full ownership of their content and be paid for it. It will be possible to accurately implement not only rewards by action that have been used a lot in the past, but also rewards by content. As far as educational content goes, created content will be split and become new content frequently, so it is necessary to display ownership of the entire content as well as the original producer bit by bit. In other words, an implementation of a concept called micro-copyright is required. A database system called blockchain is the first requirement to use micro-copyright. Our database is stored in a blockchain for secure data management, transparent transactions, and quick rewards. If someone modifies the data even a little, the hash value of all blocks will change and it will be discovered by users in the platform who have the blockchain data. Creators' content transactions are recorded in a strong security system that can never be hacked. How can copyright be applied in a world where copies can be made with one click? The key is non-fungible tokens apply to user-created content, detailing the ownership of the work and serving as a digital certificate of authenticity. Because it is blockchain-based, no one can steal the work or change the ownership. Sharing ownership between multiple people is also transparent and easy. The core technology of FTN is an NFT and blockchain-based reward system using micro-copyright that is quick and fair and encourages interest from local developers. This is the localization that is another solution for sustainable development. FTN is already reaching out to Ether Empower and funding the hired developer. Thank you.